Hi everybody from the homeland, guess what? I'm finally retiring my E-Glide 42 Special. That's right, we're gonna be making a brand new electric skateboard. So let's head to the hardware store, get our supplies, head back to the shop and get this thing cracked out. Here we go. Fancy, my electric skateboard's getting a beautiful mahogany deck. <laughs> Let's go ahead, cut this thing down. I'm just cutting it into 10 inch strips, and then from there, uh, I need them uh, cut in half at about 40 inches, so I've got my saw set to 10 inches. Let's get this broken down. Got our pieces cut. Guess what time it is? Grab your tight bond. <laughs> Grab the smallest brush you could find for the biggest job <laughs> and get these boards glued up. Just clamping our uh, skateboard up. <laughs> We've added a few rocks here to give it a hump. I've got it supported between uh, my supports there. I'm adding as many clamps to it as I can. We're gonna let this thing sit overnight. We're gonna end up with a skateboard that has a nice hump right in the middle.
that we've got the skateboard complete, put together, let's go ahead and make see if we could uh, make sense of all these parts that we uh, soldered our new XT90 connectors to. Here we are. The first thing I'm going to start with is uh, my LiPo battery. These came with these, what are they, the EC5 connectors. I just went ahead, took my wire snips, snipped off. Uh, just the positive side, I'm going to do one side at a time so I keep my wires from touching themselves. You don't want to ruin your uh, <laughs> battery. That would suck and be a total waste of money. So here I just dipped it in some flux. I'm going to grab my uh, soldering gun, some electrical solder, go ahead, dribble a bit on that, connect it to the positive side you can see there on my XT90 connector and uh, we'll be in business. So I'm going to do that to both of my batteries on the positive, the red side, and the negative, the black side. You always want to make sure when you're done soldering, give it a good tug. If it doesn't come apart, you did a good job. So now uh, we're moving on to our uh, on-off switch. There, make sure it's in the off position. Uh, we'll go ahead, uh, do the same thing. Remember, uh, black is your negative, red is your positive, and uh, just follow the same routine. We'll work our way down. First thing I want to go ahead and do is uh, plug in the VESC here. I've just color coordinated uh, the correct connections. Here, I guess polarity does not matter. It's just going to spin your uh, motor in one direction or the other direction. So here you just plug and play until you get the right direction that you are looking for at home. So my yellow is the white, my blue is the blue masking tape, uh, the black is the black. There, I've got my RC receiver plugged in there. Now we're going to move to our on and off switch. So we want power going in and the power going out to the VESC, which is here. We'll go ahead, connect that there. Now we want our power source, our LiPo batteries to get plugged in here and let's see if we've got everything connected. Let's go ahead, power our board on, nothing's smoking, nothing's blowing up. Let's see if we hit the trigger. Guys, we are in business. Let's go ahead, build a little box for all of our tchotchkes and I can't wait to get this thing out on the road.
was a pretty amazing build, I have to say. It handles hills like a champ. I'm a 200 and uh, almost 40 pound guy. And it's, uh, it's super happy with it. I've topped out about 20 miles an hour. I can do uh, just about uh, 10 miles of range. If you like this video, be sure, like the skateboard, like myself, give me a big old thumbs up, thank you, and subscribe.